So, uh, dear medical students and doctors, today I will discuss about the role of angiotensin II receptor blocker uh, in reduction of blood pressure. Before understanding the role of angiotensin II receptor blocker on your blood pressure, uh, we can have a short look on angiotensin system. So this is kidney. Kidney releases renin, right? In kidney always, in always, release some renin in your blood circulation. And this is liver. Liver contains hepatocyte, and this hepatocyte of liver always release some angiotensinogen into your blood circulation. A continuous release some angiotensinogen, and when this renin finds this angiotensinogen on your blood circulation. This renin cleaves this angiotensinogen into angiotensin 1, right? And when this angiotensin 1 uh, is present in your blood circulation, it circulates throughout your body. Uh, in the process of circulation, it passes through the lungs. And when this angiotensin 1 passes through the lungs, this in the lung there is an enzyme called angiotensin converting enzyme. And this angiotensin converting enzyme convert angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2. Where is the angiotensin converting enzyme is located in the lung? And more specifically, you know, uh, in the lung there is pulmonary circulation. And pulmonary capillary is a part of pulmonary circulation. And pulmonary capillary is composed of endothelial cell. So this is endothelial cell. And on the cell membrane of endothelial cell, there is this protein called angiotensin converting enzyme. And this angiotensin converting enzyme present on the endothelial cell of cell membrane of endothelial cell of pulmonary capillary convert this angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2. And this angiotensin 2 has many important functions. We'll discuss two or three important functions. One of the important function of angiotensin 2 is to constrict the arterioles of your body. How does it constrict the arteriole of your body? Well, the arteriole of your body has three layers. This is tunica intima, then tunica media, and outside, outer layer is tunica adventitia. And the tunica media is composed entirely of smooth muscle cells. This smooth muscle of the tunica media contain receptor for angiotensin 2. So they contain receptor for angiotensin 2. And this angiotensin 2, this angiotensin 2 from here, stimulates a receptor for angiotensin 2 on the smooth muscle of tunica media of arteriole. When angiotensin 2 stimulates this angiotensin 2 receptor, your arteriole undergo constriction. This is called arteriolar constriction or vasoconstriction. Your arteriole undergo constriction. When your arteriole undergo constriction, your total peripheral resistance goes up, right? Your total peripheral resistance goes up, and when your total peripheral resistance goes up, your blood pressure will automatically go up because blood pressure equals cardiac output into total peripheral resistance. Second important function of angiotensin II is that uh, you know on the kidney, on the surface of kidney, there is a gland called suprarenal gland, right? This is at this is called adrenal gland or this is called suprarenal glands. So, adrenal gland or suprarenal gland has two parts. One is cortex and medulla. And cortex, this is cortex and this is medulla. And cortex has three layers. One is zona glomerulosa. This is one, two, and three. Outer layer is called zona glomerulosa. Middle layer is called zona fasciculata. And inner layer is called zona reticularis. And cells of zona glomerulosa contain receptor for angiotensin 2. So cells of zona glomerulosa contain this receptor for angiotensin 2, angiotensin 2 receptor. And when angiotensin 2 stimulates the cells of zona glomerulosa, the cells in zona glomerulosa release aldosterone. And this aldosterone acts on the kidney and causes retention of salt and water. And when aldosterone retains salt and water from the kidney, this retained salt and water will return to your blood. So it will be added to your blood volume. So your blood volume goes up. As your blood volume goes up, it is logical that your venous return to the heart will go up. 
and when increased venous blood is coming to the heart or venous return is going up your cardiac output also goes up and when your cardiac output goes up your blood pressure will go up another function of angiotensin 2 that is not shown in this figure is that your kidney contains many many tubules one of the important tubules is proximal convoluted tubule and proximal convoluted tubule contains receptor for angiotensin 2 so proximal convoluted tubular cell contains this receptor for angiotensin 2 and angiotensin 2 stimulates this receptor and relates to retention of salt and water from the proximal convoluted tubule so angiotensin 2 causes retention of salt and water from the proximal convoluted tubule when angiotensin 2 retains salt and water from the pct this retained salt and water will be added to your blood volume so your blood volume will go up your venous return will go up as your cardiac output when your cardiac output will go up your blood pressure will automatically go up so these are the various mechanisms how angiotensin 2 by acting on angiotensin 2 receptor is leading to increase your blood pressure so first it causes constriction of the arterial, increased total peripheral resistance and increased blood pressure. Second, it acts on the kidney and retains salt and water. And when it retains salt and water, your blood volume goes up, your venous return goes up and your cardiac output goes up. And another important thing, it leads to release of aldosterone from the adrenal gland and aldosterone retains salt and water from the kidneys and this retained salt and water leads to increased blood volume and increased blood volume is translated into increased blood pressure so these are the various mechanisms how angiotensin 2 receptor uh, angiotensin 2 by stimulating its receptor leads to increase in blood pressure now we can see how angiotensin 2 blocker reduce your blood pressure right so these are some popular angiotensin 2 receptor blocker used in the hospital one is low certain uh, another one is false certain all me certain and tell me certain these are very popular drug when you give angiotensin 2 receptor blocker it blocks angiotensin 2 receptor on the smooth muscle of arterial right when angiotensin 2 receptor blocker like false certain blocks angiotensin 2 receptor uh, on the smooth muscle of arterial your arterial or smooth muscle relaxes when your arterial relax diameter of your arterial goes up and when the diameter of your arterial goes up, your TPR goes down, your total peripheral resistance goes down. And when your total peripheral resistance goes down, your blood pressure goes down, right? When your blood pressure goes down. Second, angiotensin 2 receptor blocker block angiotensin 2 receptor on the adrenal gland. When angiotensin 2 receptor is blocked on the adrenal gland, adrenal gland cannot release aldosterone. When adrenal gland cannot release aldosterone, there's less retention of salt and water from the kidney and this less retained salt and water from the kidney will lead to reduction of your blood volume and when your blood volume is reduced your venous return is reduced and when venous return is reduced cardiac output is reduced and when cardiac output is reduced blood pressure is reduced because blood pressure equals to cardiac output into TPR second Angiotensin 2 receptor blocker also blocks angiotensin 2 receptor on the proximal convoluted tubule of the kidney. When angiotensin 2 uh, receptor is blocked on the PCT, proximal convoluted tubule cannot retain salt and water upon, by, uh, from stimulation of angiotensin 2. So there is re re decreased retention of salt and water. And this leads to decrease in blood volume and decrease in blood volume leads to decrease in venous return and decrease venous return leads to decrease in cardiac output and decrease in cardiac output leads to decrease in blood pressure so that is how angiotensin 2 receptor blocker reduce blood pressure this is the first section on angiotensin 2 blocker we'll discuss more like uh, the mechanism of angiotensin 2 receptor blocker on diabetic nephropathy myocardial infarction and congestive cardiac, cardiac failure i will uh, plan to do it by section because it is tough for me to produce a long video thank you very much